Yo, we are at Kia. Look at that. Oh my God, don't look terrible. Look, that's me sucking my stomach. Hey! I can show you better than that. Okay, mom. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to really take my natural hair serious. It's your girl, Saria Rain. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So as you see from today's title, this is yet another vlog. But tonight, it's starting at nighttime. I got ready. I was doing a reel. So if you really want to see me get ready, you have to go watch my reel. But I am with Unique. So yeah, we just decided, well, I was just going to go return this girl her camera. But I didn't want to drive to the city without nothing to do because I feel like it's a waste of time. So I was like, we can go do something. So we both have on heel outfit. We have I have a whole outfit. We have on a cute outfit with some heels on. And so we're about to go to this new restaurant called The Bank or The Vault. It's the same thing. I'm assuming that's the same thing. And it's a big old building right here. So we're about to head in and see what the vibes is talking about. Get some good food. Try to get us some drink. We both got fake ass IDs. So we're really going to see how this go. Um, hopefully we can get in. And hopefully they don't be like, no, it has to be physical. I'm like, why? Like, what? My name is, can't tell y'all. <laughs> it's a real person <laughs> that we know. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go inside. This shit don't focus. Oh, my real shit. All right, you guys, we're inside. They play music, obviously, so. Why is this in C mode? What the fuck is C mode? You need to get her camera in all type of <laughs> I'm staring at the Wait, I'm sorry. I'm putting it in auto. Let's see. All right, we're in auto mode now. Still in the bathroom. Have it. Let's see what seat, what number we on. Oh, do they got a mirror in here? This is my fit, y'all. I never showed y'all. Why is it not focusing? This is me. You think we look young? No. Look, you look good. I'm gonna take pictures. We really look grown. She thought we looked young. This is giving grown. Look, that's me sucking my stomach. <laughs> that's embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm gonna take pictures. Hold on one second. Alright, you guys. We finally made it in here. Cute little vibe, hidden gem. You look great. Look at yours and look at yours. Yeah, this is what I want. It's really not that long. I think it's so bad because he had it first. He broke. No, I'm saying, look at the lightning. That is too dark. I look. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about like the camera and why it be at. You have hot some fire. Why the fuck is it so dark? Yeah, I don't know. Look at this camera. Oh, that's the shit. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the food. Damn, I could not get it into. Okay, we got our food done. 1790. All right, we're gonna go back over there. That should be the end of this clip. I'm not sure. Did it come with fries or no? Mm -hmm. It had to. Seventeen dollars. <laughs> All right, fuck. I cannot get up out this seat, bro. Y'all look at Oh, I forgot I was going live. All right, bye, y'all. People can't come inside. For real, nigga. Hello, you guys. So, yeah, uh, we are still on the cannon, by the way. But previous clips was lit, as you can see. We did not freaking expect no damn Lola Brooke, no A Boogie, no other rapper girl. We did not expect any of that. And I don't even think I feel much more after that. Because um, my freaking Sony broke. I mean, it's not broke, but it won't read my SD card that is currently in this camera. So, there's nothing wrong with the SD card. It's something wrong with the SD card in that camp. Because it's unique. 
camera, I mean SD card works in there and freaking vice versa. So I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm about to get ready to go get me some food. I have my first class, well not class, my first meeting with my girls in my mem my membership club. Um, And it's gonna be super lit and fun, I think. I'm gonna be looking up, that's not normal for me. I usually look like to the side because I have my viewfinder be on the side, but today that's not the vibe. <sighs> but yeah, this vlog is probably still in the premature stage. I doubt I am far into this vlog. I don't know if I'm unboxing my bag in this vlog or my next, I mean in this vlog or my previous vlog, y'all know. But it's um about time to get my hair done. I had this wig on since like the 12th of February. It is about to be 21st, so what is that? That's this time. But it's, it does look bad though. Like, I did that. I did that. It's lifting up a little bit, but that don't take nothing but some maintenance. If I could really keep it on and like do a different style, what if I do a half up? Half oh shit. No, ma'am. That side ain't really fucking with me. But I'm about to go get some off house because I need to eat. And my first class is at 7 p.m. So I'm gonna be, I know I'm gonna be pushing time, but we definitely push it P. And it'll be 7 p.m. So I'll probably do the Zoom class upstairs and use Avery's bright light that he got. Yeah, let me just get all my belongings together so we can go ahead and hop up in this car. Hop up out the bed, turn my swag on. Take a look in the mirror and say, what's up? I'm excited for my mentorship. If you're not in it, girl, and well, by the time this video out, it may be about to close. I'm closing at the end of February. So if it's March and you're watching this, girl, unfortunately, Nine times out of ten, it's closed. It's that one percent chance that it's not. But if it's not closed, it's gonna close like in a few days. So you should join and become an elevated version of you when it comes to this content shit and meet up with the girls and just. Oh no, have fun. Y'all probably wondering like, why did this girl on my sock and how she? Some way, shape, or form, last night my foot got cut. Like what? Yeah, it's like right here. Last night my foot got cut. Go pee pee. Go pee pee. Hey, go go pee pee. Excuse me, my foot got cut up, so. And Avery tried to prank me last night with that beer. He was in it. Go pee, Hazel! He was in it, and I was on the phone talking to my friend. If I was on the phone with her, I would have definitely had went into like the bathroom. Because he was in the shower, I would have went into the bathroom and was out with him. Like, why are you still in the shower? But when I was on the phone with my friends, I don't know about char, but I'd be talking, Hazel. Did you pee? Ouch, the cut on my foot. All right, my camera out of storage, but um, I forgot what I was even saying. But yeah, I gotta cut on my foot some way, some shape, house, some way for him. I don't know if that didn't make sense, but yeah. And what's the name? Oh my gosh, he got his, he got, okay, let me see if I know his door code because I need to get back inside because I'm leaving and I need some food, but I need to come back in. So how can I see if I know it without locking? Oh, I can open up the garage and then close the door and do the code so that if I get locked, out. It works out. It works out that way. So, yeah. But for you little bitty hoes that be what? Hazel, where you going? Come here, Hazel. Come here, Hazel. Come here. Come on. Hoes that be watching me. If it's you, you know. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Okay, let's go, Hazel. Well, let me see if I can get the gold to the door. Let's see. Do the numbers on this door? Okay. Girl, shut up. Oh shit. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Come here, Hazel. Uh, so what do I do now? Okay, yeah, I don't know what happened. I fucking demolished that food. I had to eat it in the car on the way home because if I would have ate it here, I would still be eating right now. And it is 6.32. I hate this camera. It don't focus. It's 6.32 already in. Like I said, I have to do this Zoom call. So I actually said I was going to do it upstairs, but I think I'm going to do it right here at this um, dining room. And then just have my computer over there. I'm about to go through my outline, which is what I'm going to be saying to the girls. I'm um, going over it. I'm going to go through the questions chat and make Make sure I don't miss any questions. I'm gonna go over the frequently asked questions and all of that stuff on day one, which is today, so that everybody knows what to look for when it comes to this club. I'm very freaking excited. I'm launched. Well, the club is already launched, but it's not like you know what I mean. So about to just set up my stuff um i'm probably just gonna wear some lip gloss and just brush my hair down i don't really plan on making myself look the best because let's be real it's a sisterhood and they need to know i know they understand that every day is just not a glamorous glamorous day oh <sighs> okay okay and one of my biggest goals coming up is to find another influencer friend we have salam so i'm definitely more than likely 
gonna be doing salon when it comes to like content days, when it comes to taking pictures, getting reels out. And I'm excited for that because that means like March, April-ish, we're gonna have way more content to post and it's gonna get one my side. So the fits are endless. But as naked, it's even an option. Wanna see my birthday suit? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah, we have lots more options when it's warm outside. And warm outside is just really just like the vibe. But yeah, so salon watching this girl, ready when you are. I really, really am. I have a few more winter outfits left. Um, but it's about to be February. It's about to be February, baby, so. What's we really doing out here in these streets? I mean, it's about to be March. I'm talking about, it's about to be March, it's about to be spring break. What we're really doing out here in these streets? I need to shop for spring break too because I should go to Miami, should. I'm not sure for real. Have you ever just been play, not really played, but like lied to? By a nigga? Like, let's be for real. I used to be a real player ass B, okay? I ain't even gonna lie. I used to play, like, I was a nigga. If you could think about all the shit a nigga do, bitch, 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 bitch. We can go car for car, rasta for rasta, rasta, rasta for rasta. But karma is a bitch, and I realize that I don't like hurting people. I don't like the feeling that I feel when I hurt people. Like I just don't. It's just not a good feeling. Um, it's guilt is a is 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 a big one for me at least. So all of twenty twenty three, haven't really done anything. I'm not getting myself a fucking pat on the goddamn back. Seriously, like it may be a little, but it ain't nothing like that. Like I'm really out here like ace the test. You know damn well she ain't supposed to do that. Hey! <laughs> He's crazy. I have a crazy dog. Kenny, not to ya. You can see if your teeth is made up. No. You know why? Because your teeth is made out of wood. <laughs> Like, let's be for real. All right, so <clears throat> let's see, yeah, what I look like on this camera. And I'm literally gonna edit tonight. Nothing in this planet Earth world is gonna stop me from editing tonight and getting that video to at least 30 minutes. So let me see. This looks cool for the zoom. I'm really just looking on my FaceTime camera on Final Cut Pro, and this is what the girls are gonna see. Or I might. Oh, wrong way. Wait, I might move to the center of the table so I don't have no wall. Home design by me. It ain't really the best quality right now, but I right, this is better. Way better. Okay. I like this better, and I'm gonna be like this. Hey, beautiful, beautiful angels. It's your girl, Saria, and hey, welcome to the Buyers Club, her Buyers Club. Thank you for joining her Buyers Club. Baby, gonna regret it because we are building a community. Period, I, period, ooh, period, I, period, ooh. All right, I think this is a good setup. So, um, 20 minutes, it's actually 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I need to get a new SD card for this camera because babes, what? Why, why doesn't it work for my Sony? I love, I mean, I don't love my Sony, but I like that Sony. This camera cool. I don't really too much know the settings on the G7X. Three. Cause it's just like, I know I heard better things about the Mark II, but I got the three cause I just thought it was like better cause it's upgrade. But I really like it for pictures. So I use it for pictures, but that's about it. <clears throat> yeah, but I can't wait to start doing consistent content days. Like seriously, I just need it to be more efficient. It's not fucking efficient at all. Cause we have so many outfits, so many girls and one little ass car. Late at night cause we be trying to get nighttime pics. I'm done with the nighttime pics. Daytime is back in style. It's about to get hot outside. So nighttime pics is really gonna be like, not a thing anymore so that'll make it easier because it won't be so late and won't be by herself and like so like scary this dog is literally ripping apart the bear hey so stop it like you have toys here girl what are you doing but for 20 minutes i guess i could edit but here we are so this is what we got going on and i have it on my phone to see 
for the day. I'm about to leave. Text me if you need anything. All right. So she's. Let me mute everybody. There's only 19 people in it right now. So now I'm just waiting for some more girls to get in there. There's 21 people in there so far. I have it's literally on my phone. That's so cool. Okay. I'm literally. I'm not scared though. My first class was pretty scary. Well, it wasn't really a class. My um, vision board party was was pretty scary actually. Um, but we made it work. We got through it. You know, we stuck it out. I have to record the call. Recording in progress. I guess that doesn't work. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it off of my phone. This meeting is being recorded by the host. I'm excited. Like, I like to talk to the girls. But like be cool with it. So I'm about to be cool with it. And the first thing I'm gonna say is hey everybody, this is gonna be the first check-in of the month for the Vice Club. I'm gonna let everybody say hey. So it's not gonna just be me. Starting soon, just letting people. Alright, I'm about to start um at 15. It is 7.14 and it is 42 girls. It was just 42, so one girl just dropped out. But this is going to be good and cool. So I will see you guys later. Join the Lives Club, Pookie Pookie. This will be recorded so you'll be able to see it once the time comes. And bye. Hello, people. So it is whatever day. Every day it's vlogging. But me and Unique are going to be going out and taking pictures today probably or something like that. We're going to be doing something in the city because we don't live directly in the city. So, oh my gosh, I don't know we're going to freak. So I got to put a wig on. My last pictures on my Instagram I had on a black 40 inch and I also have a, a black 30 inch that I was wearing for hella days. I just never took no pictures in it. So I'm probably going to throw that one on or fix this one because I didn't take no pictures in this wig either. So either one. I really don't want to take pictures in this wig because this one doesn't. Like if I'm going to wear this wig and take pictures, I got to take the pictures now but so i'm back at home and i do move soon i'm supposed to be moving from here i didn't put in my 60 day notice yet but i need to and i found some townhomes but they want moving right now and i can't move in right now because i still have to pay rent here for march and april so uh -uh -uh. i can pay the rent for the new place like at the end of april because my last day here is april 30th so i can move in like i can do the new rent at like april 31st or something like that because it'll be very low anyway because i'm moving in at the end of the period but the next in may i will pay the full price and i'm really excited i'm probably gonna sell my living room furniture let me show y'all my living room furniture that's the fucking wig i'm supposed to wear but hazel eat everything hazel what the hell did you do to my wig bro like what is this but yeah this set i want to sell these chairs i'm gonna sell i'm probably gonna see what i could do with those curtains all of this lamp sell sell i'm gonna keep my tv obviously and i'm keep my mirror and i'm gonna keep this too because in my new home i want a more comfortable couch y'all this stuff like this is for show this isn't a comfortable couch at all so bye bye and we're gonna go like cream a light cream or black probably not black that's about too dark probably like gray whatever some of something like that and like make it real homey and comfortable to where i can take naps on the couch if i want to like all that stuff the aesthetics is cute we can make it cute but as long as it's comfortable it's my number one priority my bedroom set i'm going to probably not sell it i want to put it in an airbnb so i might get an airbnb and go ahead and Get that junk listed and ready to go. And then put my bed in there. Then all I got to do is get a living room set. That would be a one bedroom Airbnb. But then I could do a two bedroom. It just really depends on the vibes. Because the more bedrooms, the more money you make from an Airbnb. And I kind of want to do at least two bedrooms. So, yeah. I also need to unbox my Louis Vuitton bag for my previous video or maybe in this video i'm not too sure it depends on how long my previous video is but yeah i'm about to go ahead and get unique and yeah, i will see you guys one it's the fast time i done got my shit together i'm way better than last time ain't put no cameras on my rap ain't too much video no, no, no. Yeah. 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 yeah 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 i'm about to Get it, that's right. You know I'm finna go all night. Yeah, y'all know. 
Mine's on auto. Oh, yours is two. This ain't this. This is the three. This is three too. <laughs> yours look like I, I have like a that. red a red line. What does that mean? Why do mine don't do that? I look the same. No, <laughs> yours look red. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like the way this. Why? The, what does red line mean? <laughs> But yeah, we are here at Buckhead Village. Um, I have my hair clipped up. I didn't show y'all. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I don't know what we did to this camera, but this shit look good now. <laughs> so I have two fits. You need got one. You got the boots, right? Yeah, they ain't the best. Seat. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just finna find some. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to. Remember that place we tried? That girl was white. That girl was painted and it was white, and we couldn't get in. Remember? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get in. Girl, that was at Georgia State. No, it wasn't. That was down there where you took the pictures in the in the boots. Right. I was at Georgia State. When the last time we took pictures at Georgia well, State? Well, you had that Rockstar outfit on. That's not the day. I'm going to show you. I can show you better than that. Okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> got my ticket over there. Little gloss in my purse. Ooh, got my belongings together. I had a piece so bad, y'all. Me too. I'm not bringing this purse. Let me put this camera down. Y'all should get this tripod. I'm telling you, yeah, y'all people. Mm-hmm. You need to get it. Or just get a car one. Girl! What? That's the same. Y'all look. Let me take my she got a car tripod, and but that means I would have had to take this off of the screws. Who the fuck? I really got time for that shit. I got cow shoes on, cause yeah. You finna walk in them? Yes. <laughs> Why not? I was asking. Them heels be healing. <laughs> period. I period. Uh. She got famous off saying, "I am oh. period. Uh, you are period. Uh. Did you see your watch? Yeah. My whole bag at your house anyways. I'm not bringing this person. Um, why am I change it? Should I change somewhere over there or come back to the car? It depends on the daylight. You want day pictures in that other outfit? Bring it. I am period. You are period. I, am period. I wonder how much money she made. Off that? Probably a lot. Mm-hmm. And she posted it on YouTube. Smart girl. Mm-hmm. Want some gum? Sure. Could you dress that hers? Probably a little dirty, sorry. Welcome. Sometimes my mom would just give me gum out of her purse and she'd be like, You use that shit on her purse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my grandma did that shit like you. <laughs> Are you just taking pictures with that? Mm -mm. Are you bringing that? Yeah, but it don't match, so I'm not taking pictures with it. Okay. Can you put this shit on me? So my outfit is really cute. I didn't button up my pants up. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Yeah. That phone fell. I mean, camera phones, bro. It's over. Today. Same girl, she's okay. She just texted. Oh, to Zoom? Yeah. Damn. She brought another one. I just put you in my video. That's exporting. I told them. So they asked me, can I edit? 
I mean do an editing class. And I said, no, but you do. And you, you, you're doing classes. $25, I better get a watch the This is unique. Okay. Bro, this shit don't help me. It's cute. I gotta tie this better, y'all, but it's supposed to be tighter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we came out this way. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do montage style because I don't really do montages in my videos no more, but we can't today. Dead in my eyes, I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. So much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to Can you get this bag off the back of me? Yeah. Shit. Like, why does shit not efficient? Ever. Right? You can plan out all your outfits and where you taking pictures in the still to go out how you want it to. <laughs> Damn, I'm on a clothes jacket in the door. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't move. I was using all my strength. <laughs> I learned to wear socks with these shoes. So that your foot can slip straight out. If you don't, sweat gonna get. I think it's gonna get you stuck. Oh shit! I need to get my phone. Oh, fuck that. Got some ice cold water. Oh, you yes, asked me to. Oh! <laughs> Why you do that? My throat. I still gotta cover my mouth. <laughs> Why I leave up the whole parking garage with that? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, you got lemon in your <laughs> My ex fucking on my old friend. Fuck the ass up. Fuck the house. Thinking that she got one up on me. She got my hammer down. Every time I drink water, I feel like I'm not drinking drinking water. It feels like I just can't see it to drink so my body can see it more. That didn't make any fucking sense at all. Like when I drink water, it don't feel like I'm putting water in my body. It feels like I'm dehydrated. Like it needs more. Like it don't feel like I drunk anything. But I have to pee. I need one of these. This is a great camera for a prank. If you know like a road trip. I was gonna, let me tell you what I was gonna do when we went to Miami, since we not going to the boys no more. So, <laughs> and we was all gonna be in the Tahoe, and, cause they want me to drive in Florida. I was gonna be like vlogging, like put the camera up like that, and be talking to them, and like continue to pound on the brakes and scream. When there was nothing going on. Cause you know people go to sleep on road trips, I'll be like, ah! You be like, what the fuck? I'm oh, like, get me the fuck out of here. I was always gonna tell you. But I wasn't gonna tell nobody else. So obviously, Ayana and Z, but it was really for the boys. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I was gonna break the fuck out of the ass. Slam another brace prank. Mm -hmm. And it ain't gonna have no seatbelt on. Ooh! What? Thanks, me. Oh, yeah, I've been about that. I'm ignoring you. I don't even have a choice here. Ew, that shit fucking stinks. Why is it not going? Oh my god. What is it? Hurry up. Hang on, that shit's tight. <laughs> yeah, I still got my macaroni. I don't got no editing at all. Cause she don't need one. Cause she knows she did wrong. This shit ain't working. He need call for help. <laughs> that smell, <laughs> that smell. <laughs> Ew. What'd you say? Dang, look how bright it went. Up, That's the best I ever saw this shit ever even be bright. Go back to normal. Hello? Oh, my shit in pee. <laughs> Damn it. Hold up, girl, you going the wrong way. Damn it. What did you need? Girl, I want that damn look <laughs> this. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Like, what? Yes. Oh, shit. Absolutely not. That is um, an accident. If you get an accident, you're done. <laughs> you already done in a bad accident anyway. So you get that, you really done. You died in luxury. That ain't that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. Mm. <laughs> Pilates? Mm. I heard that's deadly. Where you see that at? It was a sign. I drank right all this water. That's what I'm saying. Don't feel like I'm drinking no water. Mm. Uh huh. Straight dogs. We don't have pictures around this whole thing. No, for real. It's time to retire. It's definitely time to retire it. We need to go scouting. Yes. Why in the fuck did it take me all the way around? That's what I'm saying. Like, you really was just right here. But yeah, you guys. 
we are headed. Oh, that is nice. Headed to. It's dark though. I don't know. Yeah, that is. Bitch, dark. what the fuck are you doing? Oh my gosh, y'all got me cursing. Yeah, it's really dark. What is that you doing? It's a gallery. I guess so. Where you just see shit? But yeah, we headed to Collins Square, which that is, is the second place. That is crazy how that uh, building looks. That, why? Because it looks so old? Yeah, because it's abandoned now. It's nothing. And that's crazy how buildings do that. Like, why is it rusty? Like, why is it, like, ugly? Right, and because no one's taking care of it or anything like that. You know, once a building started, they go and they do work on it. I was watching The Last of Us with the zombie apocalypse, and that's how all the buildings looked. And I was like, how do buildings get like that? Yeah, From, right. like, you know, like, looking like this to getting like that. Because mm -hmm. that building, if you were still taking care of it, it wouldn't be looking like that. So... That's what that up in the But life. how, like, you know, we have houses and an abandoned house looks like shit. But when we're in our houses, we're not outside scrubbing the house. Exactly. I don't know. But you do pay for, like, um, landscaping. I've never seen nobody come and clean my house. But outside? No. No. That don't even sound. How you clean brick? I'm trying to, I'm trying to pay you attention to it's something because we need we need new places. It probably wouldn't be well for your type of vibe, it probably wouldn't be outside. A lot of girls in London are not outside. They're inside places and it's be like really cute. I wanna go to London one day just for content. Yeah, that'd be a good fire content trip. I got my second fit on. This is a sponsor. My phone did. Yeah. Yeah, if I take her picture. I want this ice so bad. I'm thirsty. I'm parched. I'm still parched. Where my phone at? All right, so we finna take this. We are at Colony Col Col Square. You gotta click it. I gotta pee, but I'm not because this bodysuit. Oh, girl, I'm finna go pee. I don't care about anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I've been holding way too long. These shoes are That's literally such a cute outfit. You think so? I know so. Ah! All right, y'all. This is me Doing my dance, and you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Stuck in my way, so I'm loving my beans. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she and her move. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she and her move. No friends, I don't fuck with the fake. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. So the paparazzi in my face. Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a bug. Bitch, too boring, I'm stuck in a rut. Let me get me wrong when I hop at the truck. Pretty bitch, like Lauren with a big ass butt. Yeah, pretty face and a waist all gone. And I'm making them way hold on. And I'm making them way hold on. Way hold on. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn.
everyone good morning it is another day in the dollar today is Wednesday no, today's Thursday and I am straightening up my home cuz it got a little rocky but I want to talk to y'all about something uh, hold on let me put my tripod on so I can really do it so you know how everybody has like different lifestyles different schedules different things people do everything differently so if you combine with another person say you start getting a relationship or you become friends with someone who has a better schedule than you and more than likely will push you to be a better per uh i have a better schedule like them but oh my gosh those things get thrown away damn it i can't put my pasties i'm gonna just get some new ones i need new ones anyway this shit got probably got fucking bacteria look i'm gonna just get some more yeah I just, but yeah so people try to like change who they are to be like someone else when honestly everyone is different and what you should do is start with like start with the little things that you do every day you know who you want to be you know who you want your you know who the perfect you is in your head with time to make up what they wear what they do so in order to become that person you take you need to take baby steps in putting character characteristic characteristics of that person into your life so if you wake up if your future self or your perfect self wakes up at a specific time and you wake up at 11 p.m a.m do you think you're gonna be that person no that's impossible that doesn't make sense so you have to start with little things and your schedule could be one of those very things and making sure you surround yourself with people that push you up not saying that you shouldn't be around people that because obviously not everybody is on the same time as you not everybody has the same mindset as you not everybody wants to change like you not everybody wants to wake up early like you so you can't force that down somebody's throat but what you can do is structure yourself that will benefit you so if you know this person wakes up late maybe you shouldn't sleep with them maybe if because if you sleep with them you're gonna wake up late so go home or set an alarm and literally get out of bed which is very hard to do because um in a topic habits avery's reading that book and he was like people who are disciplined aren't necessarily better than someone who is undisciplined it's just the fact that disciplined people don't put themselves in situations that will make them deter from their um routine or deter for from what they're used to so if they have a husband and a wife they're not necessarily disciplined they just, they just don't surround themselves by girls shaking their ass and trying to have sex with them because it's temptation it takes more energy to refuse something like that than to just not be there so if you know somebody that wakes up late and they make you wake up late or you know somebody who does smokes weed and you don't want to smoke weed don't be with the person who smoke weed or the times that they smoke weed leave when they start smoking weed just leave don't sit there and sit in the smoke and then you're gonna eventually be like hmm I can just hit it a little bit or if you wake up you're like hmm I can just sleep a little bit no just don't sleep with them because it's no it's no temptation to even want to do what they're doing and I feel like I'm about to implement that into my uh, life because like I'm not the the worst disciplined person but I do have a lot of weak spots soft spots when it comes to like certain people and certain routines like when if I'm with my family I won't do a lick of a productive thing because they're kids and it's kind of hard and it's not my routine to work with kids in my ear so when I'm with the kids I'm not thinking about working I'm thinking about being with the kids so I just definitely want to have a set morning routine and a set night routine and whatever happens throughout the day is cool. I can take a nap. I'm cool with naps as long as I'm not napping for three plus hours, really two plus hours. An hour nap is really good for me and if I'm not taking a nap at 6 o'clock at night, I'm not taking a nap at 5 p.m. That just doesn't make sense. A nap to me happens between the hours of 10 a.m. to like 2. 2 is like the deadline to be taking a nap so you can wake up at 3. But anything... After that, don't do it. So, I'm going to be working on that. And I'm going to try to make it a very strong habit. Because I feel like if I make it a strong habit. And somebody comes around me that that's not their habit. I'm going to still do my habit because I've been doing it for three months. Like, you coming around me one day out of three months. Isn't going to deter my routine that I've been building for three months. So, um, I just actively want to become a better person. I don't want to just sit in a funk and be like, well, that's what it is. Because that's not, that's not fun. So, I just want to come and show, share, share that message with y'all on this fine, lovely morning. Well, it's, it's it's 12 now. It's 12. And it's 12 o'clock. I should be getting ready to be working right now. I'm still in my morning routine. I'm trying to straighten up. And then I'm looking for my Bible. I don't know where my Bible is. Like, where did I last read my Bible? It has to be in my office. So, I'm going to go look for it in my office. Read the Bible. Read a chapter. And then, not a chapter, a page. And then journal my day and my thoughts eat and then i'm gonna actually start my day so by that time it should be almost one so i'm kind of like real behind but 
Hey, starting somewhere is better than nowhere. And tonight I'm going to plan my tomorrow because that's what works for me personally. So if you watch this part of the video, I want you to comment down below schedule and that lets me know that you are going to actively intentionally work on you as a person because it's still February. It just started last month. So just keep it pushing. By the time it's April, you need to be in that mode and just doing more for yourself because that's what I personally want to do and I want to stick to my schedule and not let anything deter it and that just takes not putting myself in those type of situations so oh when I go to Miami I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna be doing in Miami but uh, 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 but before then I need to get something going so that when I get back I can try to get back on it so yeah that is the tea and this on this morning yeah I'm still on my Canon the Sony is Still not messing with me. Um, it just doesn't read my SD card, but this camera reads it. So, is it the camera? But it's not the camera because unique for her SD card in here and it works. So, it's the SD card and the camera compatibility ain't compatible no more. So, I'm gonna just have to figure that out and fix that. But I don't really have any breakfast food. I was gonna go ahead and Instacart me some food. Instacart me some groceries because I'm lazy. I don't wanna go grocery shopping. All of this needs to be thrown away. I'm about to throw all this away. This is just bullshit. Throw this away and buy me some breakfast food. And buy me some meat and buy me some sides so that I could cook some food. I do still have Hello Fresh, but I have that I have that on pause, but I haven't even I'm surprised my fridge don't stay. I got a lot of stuff in here that's just sitting because I don't really be here. When I move, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. When I move, I have to really be there. Like I'm not gonna be staying in a big ass house that I'm not even there. February 28th, yeah, that's not. Um it's not gonna work. I got all of these condiments that need to go. When is this expiration date? August 20th, 2023. I got minced garlic, mustard, mustard, ketchup. I got cranberry juice. I've been there for years at this point. I'm gonna throw it away. So I'm gonna have to take this trash out today because this thing will stink. I got some chicken brush that completely needs to be thrown away. I don't even wanna open it. I got a big egg, but my egg's almost gone. I have. One piece of turkey meat left. That's if you buy 1231. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This bacon, um, there's no way this is good. I need to stop buying bacon. I don't even like bacon. So, bacon is gonna be removed. <laughs> Yo, the fridge is empty. There's nothing in it. This is a salad. I don't even want to see. November 11th. Oh, that's not fair. Sure. 02073. Damn, Serena, what the fuck? Just waste some money. And I got two almond milk, but I don't need to have no cereal. This is still good. I probably gonna order me some cereal so I can eat some cereal today. I got all of these. I got fruit, please, please be good. I eat these right now. These are blackberries. I got these from Aldi. I like to grocery shop at Aldi now because it's just more like healthy. And I think it's cheaper. Y'all see that? What does that mean? Is that old? It's the only one. I'm scared. I want to eat mold. Yeah. That's sour. Oh man. My strawberries is done. I ain't even touched this because I wasn't home. 0204. I never opened it though. Mangoes. Ugh. I need to stay the fuck home. I can eat the stuff that I bought. This tastes good though. I'm scared to eat that. I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna eat the one piece in my mouth. Damn. These apples been here for a while, I think. But oh, this is my new apple. How do you like them apples? I don't know. It's gonna say. But December 26th, bye-bye. Um, I got some onions. 12 feet to buy. So my refrigerator is completely empty now. Literally, all I have is condiments. And that just shows y'all how much of a cooker I am. And then my freezer, I got me some shrimp, I got some broccoli, I got some green beans, I got some rolls, I got some cinnamon sticks that I'm not gonna eat. These have a thousand grams of sugar. Fuck no. Fuck no. That's too much. Um, this sausage is freezer burnt. We're gonna throw these away too. This salmon, I don't even wanna open this. This has been back there so long. All these ice build up. Dump this out and let it rebuild because that's too much ice. Way too much ice. Bucket and a mop. My 
trash can? I have ballet trash, so I have a trash can already outside, and then this one's getting full right now, so. Still look a mess in this house. I also need to unpack, unbox this bag for real. But now I'm about to go ahead and Instacart into groceries, wait till those come. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do my morning routine. Peace. Hey, y'all, so my groceries are here. This is the Aldi groceries. They coming back because you know they don't have no bags and they don't never take that damn box. Take the fucking box. Take the box. Like they want me to break down the box. How much further do you think that could be broken down? Please, somebody tell me. But here goes. I'm about to take the dog out because I know she got me. So yeah, Aldi. Let's do Aldi. And I'm gonna give y'all a mini haul in a second. And I also got some Publix over there. So let me take the dog out and I'm be back. Alright, let me show you guys all of the groceries that I got. So we got Cereal, we got some fruity pebbles. We got this is my staple pieces. We got some potato bread. If y'all don't like bread, you need to try potato bread. You need to try this bread. It may not be the healthiest, but it's really good. It's the best bread ever. Then we have some tortillas. You need to make it some tacos tonight. Some chicken tacos tonight. I got some more turkey breast meat. Turkey breast sandwich meat. I got some tuna. I love tuna and sandwiches and bread. This is the taco seasoning or sauce that she wanted tonight, so. We got this taco sauce going top, I'm assuming. She wanted this kick and chicken seasoning for the chicken she's gonna be making, so we got that. And that's all that I got from Publix, cause Aldi don't really be having like the stuff for real. So then for Aldi, we got brown bags, and here we have like more of the whole food type of thing, cause there's no whole food by me. I got some pink salmon, I love salmon, so we're gonna try this salmon. I usually get my salmon from Walmart, but I got this wild caught pink salmon, skin on. I love skin on, so this is what I got. It's from Freezer. I got some sausage for the breakfast, some sausages. I don't know, where do these go? Refreeze or keep refrigerated? Can I cook these frozen? Oh, if I, I can um, thaw a refrigerator or microwave. So I probably just thaw out pieces that I wanna eat that day in the microwave. <laughs> And I got, damn, this big. This was cheap and big. I got some ground turkey, so just in case I wanna make spaghetti or like some nachos. I wanna make some rotel with no cheese. I really wanna try to make some rotel. I feel like that would be good. So, then I got some thin sliced chicken breast. I got two of these, but I didn't know how big they was. So I got two of these. We're probably only gonna need one. Or she can cook both, I don't know what's up there. So then I got two of those. Then I got taco shells, 12 country crunchy taco shells because I want to have some crunchy tacos. I haven't had them in a while. I got some strawberries, some kiwi. I put a kiwi on my tacos. I got some cheese for Unique. I might get cheese. And we got shredded lettuce. And then we have some chicken broth. She wanted, she put chicken broth. So we got some chicken broth. I got some blueberries. I love blueberries and strawberries. It's my favorite. And I got some pico for the tacos. So, and some eggs. I got cage free eggs because that's just what you need to eat. And that is my grocery haul for the day. So I'm about to put all this stuff up in the um, fridge and the freezer and stuff. Because y'all know my fridge was just real empty, but we got some stuff to put in it. It ain't nothing too, too crazy. Um, I'm not gonna freeze. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put it in here for now. For now, but everything else going in the freezer for sure. parent they open up the meat and put them in plastic bags and then freeze them i think i'm gonna do that because when i'm cooking i don't be wanting to cook all of the chicken but i'd be happy to because i decided to put it all in the freezer together once you unthaw it you're not supposed to you're not supposed to like freeze it back again so yeah i need to get some egg trays like i have this one right here but i need some actual like egg trays but when i move i'm gonna make sure that i do everything better and where, when i move i'm gonna be staying there way longer then I stay here, so yeah, it'll be way different in that in that case. We literally using all of this, so I'm gonna put that right there. Everything else is not refrigerator or cold based. And then y'all don't even wanna have y'all ever seen my pantry? My pantry don't got nothing for real. Yeah, embarrassing actually. But yeah, so Instacarting is really lit. I wish they would sponsor me. I would love to be sponsored by. Food company, all the stuff that I need, cleaning companies, all of that. Like, I'm gonna tell my little management team 
like, hey, I want to get sponsors from from cleaning places, all of that. I feel like that's fire. They actually did send me a food company sponsor, but they have like a guarantee, but that's never here now there. But yeah, I'm about to eat me some cereal and then I'm gonna continue to do some work and I will see you guys in the near future. Yeah, we are at Kia for Unique. I be wanting to say your whole government all the time. Did y'all renovate it? Did y'all renovate? Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks different. This is where I got my car from back in 2020. Go watch. Was that 2020? 2021. 2020. This is the car my mom got. Mmm. Look at the color. Period. This is so cute. Wow. I like the smell. This looks just like my mama car. Oh, that got red seats, I think. <gasps> Look at this car. Look at this. This orange. Look at that screen. Look at that. Oh my god, don't look <laughs> This is so nice. You look what? like you going this and you want to be like, like, ooh, panoramic. Bruh. He is not playing. I'm gonna get me another one. <laughs> Look at this screen. I zoom bro. It. it go all the way. Imagine it on. No. It ain't nothing. It's giving Tesla. It's nothing right here. Probably all touch screen. Look at this big old cover. What is this? Look at the side. A 2023 Sportage SX. Damn. So ugly on the outside though. Sorry. Well, it's not bad. He got that. Yeah. I love the inside of that car. This is the front. This is, if I had a family, I'd get that. But yeah. Let me get something. Hey vlog, so we left. We're back at the crib ski now. And this is what we got going on. I like to show y'all how it's looking in the actual home. It's, it, it be looking a mess, but I've been straightening up throughout the day, so. Focus! I don't know how to straighten no, sh no fucking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> She's currently, mmm, that looks good. Shredding this, this shit is a workout. When you don't got no chicken shredder, you gotta use two forks and use your muscles, bruh. Yeah, that looks good. So we got some chicken tacos. What's that? That's the chicken. It Can I eat it? Yeah, go ahead. But it might be a little uh, salty because it's still in there. Yeah, go ahead. That one, this one, see how it's done? Can you? Never mind. All right. I don't know how that one tastes. I know how these taste. It was a different pot. Hmm. Okay, pretty sure it's the same. Is it hot? Is it hot? Is it spicy? One meal in the box. One good one. This is easy. Chicken broth seasoning. That's it. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me switch. No way. That's not right. Bro, I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck no. That's not right. I don't know. I just don't feel right. Okay. Do you see pink in the inside? Or do you see just stay white? Well, yeah, I'm saying, but I'm saying. Oh, maybe. probably, yeah. I never had her. This is a workout, bro. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just playing with it. Honestly, it don't matter. Just as long as it's broken up. Your life is good. It's just gonna be in the top of the end. I'm over here trying to teach you like I just know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> people eat big ass shrimp in the taco. So it's up to you. It's however shreddy you want. I was like, <laughs> so I have to, you know, keep saying, oh, I don't know how to cook. Yeah. Where? You an actual girlfriend. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Like, for real, for real. I'm not. I still stay. I'm like, it's a noodle in there. That shit don't work no more. Oh, and since I like, if I pour, since I pour too much chicken broth, if you pour too much chicken broth, you can just, um, I use, pour it in a cup and then I sprinkle it over when it's cooking. Ooh, this has to be you. Yeah. Shit. Fuck. Cause it was empty. Wait, say it again. Like, if you pour too much, like, I'll use a cup, so I got a cup and then I, like, that cup right there. And then I poured it, the extra, mm -hmm. out of the pot. And then I let it cook, flip them again, and I pour that on top so that it can still be like. I'm gonna make two tacos for me. Mm-hmm. 
like so, like so. This shit loud, please. Warm up my tortilla for approximately 10 seconds. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat now. Warm it up in the microwave. You don't put it on the pot. Bro, I was, but damn, I did my only two pots. Uh, this is the ingredients go on top. And this, this sauce right here. I'm gonna put this in trash. This chicken is good, bro. So I put taco, I mean, I put kiwi on my tacos because it just tastes good. Um, I don't, I, oh, oh, I got it from a Hello Fresh recipe when I used to live. <laughs> um, I, when I was living with my mom in an apartment and we used to do Hello Fresh and we had made tacos one time. There was some good ass ones. Like for real, I don't know what else they had told us to do, but them tacos was just really good. And HelloFresh has really good ingredients. I mean meals, so and they do something else. They do something with sour cream, salt and pepper. They mix it together. Yeah, and that shit tastes really good too. It makes the sour cream taste like something. Don't have any of that this time. Damn, you ate it already. Mm -hmm, it's so good. I gotta get me a show going. Mm. So you don't want no damn kiwi on the taco. You want kiwi period. You I can't eat your taco. Did you throw away them cookies? Mm -mm. Yeah, I said that's gonna be the dessert. You hear me? Mm -mm. This is so good, Serena. I'm excited. <laughs> I need some water. Call me Chef Neat. First, our stylish meat in the other video. <laughs> Y'all already know I had to learn. Now I got to What's next? I'll just put this in. I gotta find something else. Um. You? Maybe. It's really fun once you get up. No, the fuck is not. Because I know how to cook chicken breast and. Barely, I can't really cook spaghetti like that. I be fucking up. Cause I do turkey meat, and with that, you gotta do more. Yeah, we learned that in book. So I don't know why I don't like it. It's just not fun to me. It's really spicy Take too long. Though. You put the sauce on there too? Let's go with the sauce. Hey, so I know you gotta pee. I'm so sorry. But but don't nobody live but me. Y'all hear that shit? They do live up there. Alright, that's not even bad. They move the something across the floor. I'm gonna just make one at a time. Come on. Hey, who gave you human food? Cause we did not always act like this. Bruh, seriously though. Who was you? Who was babysitting her? You and my mama. That taco was so good, y'all. I need y'all my recipe. You said you're not. I, I can give y'all my uh, recipe. I don't want no lot of this. I'm scared. No, you should put a lot. Why? It's really good. I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese. <laughs> okay. Not a lot, but it would be spicier. But I'd be flooding my tacos, bro. Yeah, that's. A burrito, yeah. <laughs> no fucking really. It's not even gonna be able to close. So we're not even gonna do it. We're gonna do it this way. Oh, I'm gonna go cold. Yeah, the key. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like it. Let me warm it up. I don't want it to be cold. That shit's spicy, bro. Damn. Tastes good, though. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> I be hungry, bro. I be hungry too, but honestly, I just did this one day. Cause he said, "Can you make some chicken?" <laughs> and I was like, "All right, fuck it." <laughs> All right, but now I see why everybody in the damn house ate some. Oh, Period. Y'all wanna know how I make some tacos? All you need is some chicken broth. It don't matter what you season your chicken with. Just get some chicken broth and put some mustard in it. Oh, I put mustard on my chicken too. A little bit though. I didn't put a lot. Cause if you put a lot, it's gonna have mustard. Bro, that girl got paid two million dollars off a of song that went viral on TikTok. That's all it took. He thought I was feeling you. <laughs> and it's sauce. People don't. I don't know nobody who be putting this on their tacos for real. But it's Ortega. Good. I roll in mine up like a burrito. I as well. Hello, people. It's probably like two hours. No, that's about an hour later from the food or whatever. It was great. I got this wig in the mail, and I'm not gonna put it in the video because it is a sponsorship, but they're not paying me for YouTube. So if you want the wig, you're gonna have to see it on Instagram. It's so, it's gonna be so cute. I just need somebody to put it on my head. So I may ask Ava to do it or something. It came with a whole bunch of stuff. I might do like a hairstyle video or something. I don't know, probably do on TikTok. Oh, I got a new edge brush and it's blue. Got some lashes. Y'all know how they be. This is making me miss selling hair. So cute. If they hair is good, nah, I was gonna say, if they hair good, I can make them my blender, but free wig or cash back. Wig cap. I'm trying to debate if I wanna go ahead and do the wig by myself. I just need somebody to customize it. I can gladly put it on by myself. So I'm gonna ask, you need to ask my she know. And that came with a bonnet, a drawstring bonnet. This is super, super cute. So if you guys are willing or want this 
Is that what my people hear? Cause that's loud. <laughs> if they want, if you want this, if y'all want, if y'all, if y'all interested in this wig. Oh, y'all didn't even see the wig. My dumb man. Hold on, let me try the wig. I want to do more than because they only they not pay me that much, right? And I don't. I really didn't want to make content for. I really just want to post like a video or something. But I don't know. This is it. it has a skunk strap in the front. And it's 30 inches. And I think I want to do it in the middle part. It's like only one part be blind. So most people do a side part in between the blind. So then it's like blonde over here and blonde over here. But I don't think I want that. I think I want the middle part and then a little streak of blonde in the front because I feel like that's cute. Let me open it up because y'all know these wig companies are doing doing shit the right way. They'll advertise a wig on the internet and it don't be nothing like that. So here it is. This is gonna be my first sponsorship wig. Okay, let me see how this is doing. I knew it. This isn't the wig that I was advertising. This wig has a streak straight up in the middle. So if I do a middle part, it'll be blown on both sides. And that's not what I was trying to do. So I'm gonna wear this in the side part now. It's gonna be a side part. If I do it right here, it's gonna have to be a real close side part. But yeah, they be they be they be lying, y'all. They do not be doing they just be stealing people wigs and then trying to recreate them and then not even create them right. So this will be on my Instagram stories. So in order to see it, you have to follow me because it won't be on my page. I'm not going to tag them. Because that's all they pay me for. So if they wanted all that extra stuff, they would have to pay a little bit more for it. And when brands um, sponsor me, I let them um, do whatever they want to do with the content. Like I'll send you the video. You can repurpose it, put ads on it. I don't care. As long as... You pay me what you supposed to pay me. Because some people don't be wanting to give the companies the video. But it's like, why? Why not? If anything, charge them more. People are trying to sue in all this extra stuff. And I just be like, y'all are, y'all are buttholes. Y'all are buttholes. Because as a business owner, it's not that easy. Like, you pay people. You need to pay somebody to do something one time. And they do it, period. It's no... I'll pay you more later. Mm -mm. If you want another sponsor, then pay them again. But that's just a tip from me. But everybody don't do that. So, so it's just on. Ooh. So, it's getting late. Unique is sleep. She said she won't be asleep by 11. Girl, you did it. Where it is. Yeah. So, I'm probably gonna do some work. I'm probably gonna type up a ebook. I'm gonna just force myself to do that because I've really been procrastinating. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna end this vlog tonight. So we're just gonna end it off with a bang. As you can see, it's dark outside. I literally was typing up my ebook all freaking night. And it may be out by now. If it's out, I will link it down below. It is an ebook on how to become a hair influencer, like getting hair for free, for money, whatever the case may be. That's what the book is about. And I really can't wait to release it because I really put a lot of gems in there. Um, make you an extra a thousand dollars a month depending on how much you charge and how good your quality is you could really charge money and get the hair for free and then it takes away the expense of hair because as a girl we all know getting your hair done is a monthly bill that is a bill for the month and if you don't get the hair done they look raggedy and all that stuff so if you know how to do your own hair and do you get wigs poo girl you're sad i just gotta take my blue light glasses off because i had them on the whole night but yeah so it's nighttime it is 8 19 and i'm doing my duty i need to take a shower uh, i need to eat dinner i need to take a shower let me get my trash can from outside Hey, it's still got pee, but it's freaking raining outside, so girl, I'm not going out to attack the rain. You got, you got grass for a reason. She better get the proper squat over there. Popping a squat over there. Like, let's do some for real. Y'all, I'm starting to realize one of my next big-ass pet peeves is a disrespectful nigga. Like, OMG. That hurts my nerves now. I just really don't like it. Like, if you just think your mama, your sister, your girlfriend, your fucking baby, whatever. I don't like it. I don't like you. It that like really takes your respect so down. Disrespectful men and women, but the men to women is worse. A man disrespecting a woman, big as fuck, she little as fuck, disrespecting her is like so fucked up to me. Especially when you're in a relationship with her or that's your fucking mom. Like, for one, you chose the bitch to be a girlfriend. And that's your mom. You grew up with her your whole life. She put clothes on your back, roof over your head, and you just fix your mouth to disrespect her. I just 
really don't like shit like that. Um, it just it just doesn't give. And they always fucking say sorry. Fuck that nigga because you're not sorry. You're not. And we need to keep that same energy when it comes to these relationships that we decide to be in. A nigga's gonna show you who he is, boo. You get maybe like one or two chances. And now, if you keep doing it, yeah, it's you. It's not me. So, that's just how I'm coming tonight. How I'm feeling tonight. Because I've just been real fucking irritated lately. And I don't know what it is. Like, period. Titties don't hurt. So, what, what's really like going on? And let me throw this zucchini away. Because that zucchini has been sitting there for a while. And like, let's be serious. I don't. I don't. Ew! Ugh. What the fuck was that? I don't want to put that in my new trash I just put there. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this shit. I'm so sorry. I haven't been home, y'all. Please. What the fuck is that? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get that. Ew. Uh, I don't even want no dealings with it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, please. Please don't, please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Whoa, it's safe. I'm about to put it outside the door. It's so the people can't open it. Really? Just almost had a heart attack right there, honestly. That was really giving heart attack behavior because that shit. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. But let's see what's on the docket. Um, Marlika is making a caption for a real reminiscing about when I could stand you. But yeah, I'm really hungry. Should I eat? No, I'm gonna shower first and then eat. But I kind of want to like straighten up my house like, a little bit. And I keep saying I'm going to unbox this freaking Louis bag. And, like I've said that probably third time this video. And I haven't yet to do that one time. So we're going to try again tomorrow when the sunlight comes out. But I'm going to take a shower and eat for the night. I wanted wings, but I have some tacos. So we don't need wings. And it's all paid off, Norin. We're going to listen to music in this shower. It's before quiet time. So bitches below me, shut up. I'm just kidding. I've been managing this shit you can't handle. You're making bad decisions. Bad decisions. Reminiscing about when I could stand you. You a bitch ass nigga can't stand you. Said you wouldn't do it and it didn't. Are you trying to see me? Nigga, I'm sleeping. I heard you caught another body. These niggas for everybody. But yeah, I just went ahead and took my hair out of the braids because I want to deep condition it. Um, I'm doing my deep condition every two weeks and it's definitely been two weeks because it's like almost two weeks from Valentine's Day and I did it before Valentine's Day. So I have Carol's Daughter Repairing Cocoon Mask for Weak Breakage Prone Hair with Castor Oil Junior and Wheat Protein. And I feel like this would be good for my hair once I use it more. Um, I am, back in the day, I used to really take my natural hair serious. Like, I didn't have heat damage, I didn't have nothing. And I would, like, do treatments every two weeks. So, like, now my hair, you can't really see my curls for real because it's, it's so dry. Like, look at the roots of my hair. The roots of my hair is, like, frizzy and almost comes off as nappy, right? So, I'm, like, back in the day when I used to do these treatments um, and use heat, I used to put a shower cap on and sit under the dryer for, like, 15 minutes. After, like, a month or two, my curls looked way better they were way more defined and it was just all in all a better um what is the word it was just better let me get a hair tie but now since i don't really take care of my hair like that i just do it every now and then maybe like once a month or once every three months like, i don't really do my hair that often or wear it out or really treat it at all like i just every time i braid it down i put in products but that's about it so i just did a co-wash i didn't use any shampoo because i like i said i did wash my hair two weeks ago so i might wash my hair with shampoo every like three months so every fourth 
I don't know y'all every fourth deep condition or something I don't know but I'm starting this again and I just feel like it'll definitely help my hair with looking so dry and just so out of whack like it doesn't look defined when I wear it out um I just don't I haven't been liking for the past like let's say year because I had cut my hair off into a bob and the reason I cut my hair into a bob was because my ends were so split and I just didn't I forgot I was just like, fuck it, why not just go for a bob? So, I just did a bob back, probably, was that a year ago now? Yep, I cut my hair into a bob a year ago. And my hair hasn't grown tremendously since then, I don't think, at least. I'm not pulling it, like, I'm about to pull it and see. But I'm trying to make sure I get it on the roots, because that's really where I want to focus, and the ends. But my ends are low-key damaged, so. Alright, so let's see how much my hair grows. So, this is the bob, and y'all know my hair is all the same length. Should be, at least, let me see. Yeah, my hair is all the same length. I can't wait to get it pressed out. I wanted to get it before the um it got hot outside, but maybe it's hot outside. So, all right, let's see. Y'all see, it's it didn't grow od. So it's right here now, and it started off um. Well, I guess I just feel like it could have did more. So this next year, I'm gonna really try. Well, the current year, but like the next year of my hair being out, I'm gonna really like try to take care of it. Look at that shit in my water. So yeah, I'm trying to just get it into like my roots area, cause that place needs some loving. This kitchen, baby, I be playing with my kitchen. So when I got wigs on, that kitchen we get touched. <laughs> so I'm gonna start leaving my kitchen alone. It's very fun to play with my kitchen. I don't know. It's just entertaining when I don't have nothing else to really do but yeah so I just today I just randomly thought like okay let's go ahead and do a deep condition um it's not gonna be every six weeks exactly it's really gonna be whenever I remember and it's not hard because a week I mean a wig only stays on for about two weeks max so I guess in between each wig depending on how long I wore that wig we can go ahead and get my hair a deep condition a detangle um a wash not really a wash but we're gonna do cold washes because like I said um, well, not like I said, you don't want to wash your hair as a black person in these because I forgot why they said it, but I'm going to just sit beside them and listen. So, yeah, I barely do them. Put this on to the root. Put it to the root, baby. Put it to the root. And go ahead and do this. Period. The roots, like I said, is really where I want to get. But let's talk about something as I do this. Um, what's, what's March? What's going on in the world? Oh, let's talk about fucking and play. So, what's with everything being so high like I already know like the government is really not doing that well um, it's just a lot going on like gas prices are really high I remember I used to well, I didn't really complain but my parents used to complain about gas being being two dollars and three dollars and I remember when it went down to one dollar during COVID everybody was so ecstatic but that is no longer a thing babes gas the other day in Atlanta was four dollars I literally saw it four dollars and for people who don't drive let me just explain gas to you so the, the number we see is four dollars right they're probably like okay that's not a lot but each car has a different amount of gallons because it's four dollars per gallon so each car has a different amount of gallons that it takes to be full right and miles per gallon is how many miles your car can go for each gallon so a a, a mpg car that has a low number I believe it's worse right or is it more miles per gallon i don't know y'all know what i'm trying to say so four dollars my car takes about 16 to no like 13 to 16 gallons um to be full so you multiply that four by 16. that's why it's so fucking high but i guess you could say i have a good mileage car because it's still not that bad in my opinion i feel like i mean 60 something dollars almost 70 okay actually that's that's actually bad but imagine people who drive premium gas, their gas, if, if $4 is fucking basic or economy, whatever it is shit called, imagine people who drive BMWs, Benz, freaking diesel trucks, and all of that, like they're really paying an arm and a leg to drive a car to get to work. So it's like you have to, for one. It's not even a choice unless you go bike, you go bike, hoverboard, scooter. But who really wants to do that in Atlanta with a suit and tie on on a hoverboard to work? It just, that just doesn't even, see look my hair look real dry and brutal back here. But that's why $4 is so crazy and I just feel like if gas is that high and the jobs pay isn't fucking rising, I'm sorry excuse my language. Like luckily I don't work a job but I know a lot of people do. 
and the money isn't raising, but the gas is raising, the rent is raising, even my rent's going up. That don't mean these people pay, pay jobs is going up. What's really going on here? Might I ask? Like, it just really sucks. And then, like I said, living is in the real estate right now. Mm -mm, just run, just run. Like, you need to get you a good deal, get you a freaking fixer upper home. That's the only way it could even make a little bit of sense, but. Yeah, I just feel bad. I don't know. All we can do is pray. But like I said, with why well, I didn't say this, why I keep saying this? But with every inflation, there's going to be a crash, okay? So, baby, when it crashes, so save your money now. So, when it crashes, you can invest into things for way cheaper when it's back to like a COVID type of time. Like, everything's going to be cheap. People might get stimulus checks. All that's going to be a recession. So, it's like building it back up. So, when that comes, y'all need to be, that's the time to be investing in your Airbnbs, all this investing. Um, if right now, invest in the stock market for like baby food and um, I actually don't listen to me, but this is my suggestion, I think. Baby food, cleaning products, all the stuff that people want inside. Like, can you invest into an egg company, bro? Like, oh my gosh, speaking of eggs, egg prices? I don't want too much pay attention to prices. I ain't gonna cap in the grocery store because what I'm gonna do, not get it. Unless I really peep something that's extremely expensive, I will get the cheaper option. Like, I get a lot of um, off brand things. But, like, eggs, poo, I gotta get. So, you know, everybody got their own specific company that they think with when it comes to certain products in the grocery store. Yo, the people by me are literally cleaning the hell out of their apartment. They vacuuming their bathroom. Yeah, like I said, um, I forgot what I was freaking saying, y'all. Uh, what was I just saying just then? But yeah, everybody has their own specific brand that they stick to with certain things like mustard, mayo, chicken, meat. Like when you get snacks and shit, kind of, that's when you get to like get great value and like chips and stuff like that that you know probably tastes the same. But like other stuff, people usually stick to what they know. So yeah. That's what's going on, y'all, and I just don't know how I feel about it. It sucks, but like I'm, I'm, I said, now I can really say that, with every um, inflation time, a recession is going to follow. So, thug it out, still watch how you spin, and you'll be fine. I'm about to wash my hands so I can go eat and wind down. When I eat, I'm going to get sleepy, baby. The fool going to get to me, and I'm going to go put a, um, shower cap on because I really don't want to sit under the dryer. I didn't sit under the dryer last time either so I might force myself to sit under it this time and like watch TV or something. It's only 15. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Condition my head and then once I'm done, I'm going to put my clothes on and put my body on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the shower cap on my head and after it's the 15 minutes up, I'm going to keep it on and sleep with it. Or not. So I don't know if that's like too much protein but cool. I don't care. I need my hair to look good. Baby, good is what it needs to look good is what it needs to look let's see i think it's my last shower cap boom so now here it is so this is like my mom's or somebody face my stepmom's uh i took this with me a long way so mine now <laughs> it's bye now, it's bye now. So I'm gonna put this on the bed and go ahead and make my plate. Sugar, honey, I see. I wanna be with my big light on. All right, so it's night two with the tacos. Unique ate some early. I kinda wanna go crunchy. So I'm gonna go crunchy tonight. I need to cut me up some um, kiwi, tar shells, and um, Aldi, I think. I don't know, somewhere. All right. So since my chicken is cold, would, would it? Putting this in the taco will be dumb. Like, my taco's not cold. Um, oops, did I just break it? I never thought about that. They do have to keep these in good shape when you package it up. So they got this shit like really light. As long as nobody sit there and squeeze the box, they'll be good with keeping these tacos safe. I'm gonna do three, I feel like three. But the amount of meat and stuff that I be putting in my stuff. Well, what was my we ate all the shredded, oh no. I thought we ate all the lettuce. Where the pico? Oh, I don't know. All right. Meat in here. It's so much left. I'm so happy. Thank you, Judy. Girl, you watch the video, bro. Thank you for this delicious also. It's a little spicy there. Okay, I'm gonna use my hand. Back. Nobody else should be eating it but me and my like I said, I like to eat a lot of meat. And I want some dessert, but it ain't no dessert here. So and I want I thought I wanted this dessert last night, but by the time I ate all my tacos, your girl didn't want no more dessert. Okay. 
So guys, if you guys want to stop eating sweets, ignore that voice telling you that you want sweets because just eat. Eat some fruit or eat regular food, eat something else and once you get full off of something else you will no longer want that sweet stuff that you thought you wanted in the first place so it's pico spicy y'all oh shit the pico do contribute to the heat so yeah we're gonna put a, we're gonna be light on the pico this time i think i was heavy on the pico last we're gonna get i ain't gonna put no cheese on it i ain't gonna do myself like that that's why i didn't want no cheese i didn't even want cheese in my sight because that voice in the back of your head oh baby it's gonna do their time it's gonna do their time so if I don't get full off of this taco, I'm gonna make me a burrito taco one. What's off taco? I am about to. So I don't have no skin pillar or potato pillar. I don't even know what it's really called. I used to call it a potato pillar. I don't know what it's that. So I just do it like this a little bit. Just get the sides off. Fun fact, I cut the hell out myself with a potato skin pillar. Trying to sharpen a pencil because my dad had showed me how to sharpen a pencil. With it, you would just go like this on the pencil and it would just get sharp. And one day he wasn't there no more and I needed to sharpen my pencil and I didn't have a sharpener. So of course I went in that kitchen and did what he did and it just shred on my thumb. Was screaming, that shit hurt. Luckily I didn't really like do nothing too, too bad. So I just didn't have to go to the doctor. I put it in water, I remember. I put it straight up in that water and I was like scream, I was crying. I knew I wasn't supposed to do it. Cause I'm pretty sure he told me not to do it um, by myself, but your girl, uh, Felt like she could she could do something and cut it up and it just didn't end well you know but yeah i put a band-aid on it and it healed i had the mark for a long time let me see is this still on there i can't remember but you can literally see the, the cut from it my hands are wet so you can't really see it but my thumb is wet so i'm gonna look when i'm done but yeah so i'm gonna teach my kids kitchen safety and all of that because I didn't really get taught that like my grandma used to cook but she never I guess she thought I wasn't really old enough to I don't know because I don't even think she cooked my mama I mean she taught my mama so my mama didn't really know how to cook either she was a whole wife y'all and couldn't cook for real but hey not every man care about a cooker because baby let's believe I'm not when I start cooking it's gonna be not rare but cool like we're gonna have to eat out sometimes I ain't gonna Sometimes I'm gonna eat out. Put this in the microwave. Taco sauce. I feel like it don't need to be that. I wish I had that taco stand. Where you like stand up tacos on the little thing they give you at the restaurant. I don't want too much of this either because I don't want too much heat. Like, I don't like hot spicy food, but. Oh wow, I look stupid with this on my head. Alright, so I'm about to eat the damn taco. I'm about to eat the taco. I wish I had some lime to make the shell like taste better. The shell tastes plain. Ooh, ooh. Mmm. I'm gonna have my roll. Mmm. My cup of Yeah, there's something missing right now. I think it's a shell. Oh, and there's some lime. That's what we got. Okay, I'm done eating. I'm not as full as I was um, last night because I didn't eat two big ass um, things. I've been using one bliss text this whole time. I lost Well, I lost my first one, so we're gonna keep this one. We're not gonna lose this. Y'all know I love this. Hey, look. Y'all know I love this test. Tomorrow I'm gonna do this. As of right now, we're about to go in the room and figure something out to do as I sit under the dryer, baby. And yeah, let me go in there. Let me go ahead and put my blue light back on my eye because I know I'm about to be on the computer. Cause I gotta do stuff that I don't I don't have to hear. So yeah, that's what I want to do for the time being. I said I was gonna end this vlog tonight, but we're gonna see if that's like fact. See you next clip or don't. If don't see you next clip, then it's gonna be the end of this video. But I don't really think so. But if it is, bye. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to watch my previous video because maybe these videos are long like all the time. So if you're not tired, of, if you're not tired of watching, go watch something else. And if you're already caught up, just hit the subscribe button, baby, because more is coming. So this would be funny if I have a next clip. <laughs> but yeah. Bye. <laughs> Imagine. But I'm I'm back because I'm about to do the um shower cap heated thing. So it's really the same night. So I might have to end the clip, but y'all remember what I just said. And then after this, I'm going to put the clips on my computer to see how long the video is given. This fucking plug don't work. So I gotta turn my big light on. Oh shit, let me take these pants off. Hold on. The dirty, cause I be taking out the dog. So I'm going to get under the cover. Under the covers and I'm going to, let me stop. I'll turn my fan on cause I know I'm gonna get hot. Got a good pillow behind me. 
Scooch Bay.